scientists, philosophers and religions all around the world have been trying to answer this one question since the dawn of thinking. Does randomness actually exist or is everything pre-written? Basically, do you actually have free will or is choice just an illusion created by the universe? And after thousands of years of human evolution, we finally might have an answer. So in the next few minutes, I'll try to cover three possible solutions to this problem. These scientific explanations will range from simple yes or no answers to complex philosophical concepts. So stick around till the end to find out whether randomness is actually real or is everything predetermined, especially for the final reason, because that's where you really have to lock in and think for yourself. This one's self-explanatory, but I have to give you context first. Before the year 1900, physicists around the world thought that the universe was solved. Just a few tiny problems here and there. One physicist even went as far as to say there is nothing new to be discovered in physics now. Then came the year 1900 and a man named Max Planck basically revolutionized physics. He discovered a little something that would later be called quantum physics. But what does Max Planck have anything to do with randomness or free will? Oh, everything. See, before this movement in history, there was a collective belief that the universe was deterministic, that every single event, action and movement was already written. Even Einstein once said, God does not play dice. But quantum physics said something else. It introduced a concept called probability into the physics scene. Let me explain. The quantum world is a realm deep within the classical one. Particles like electrons and photons don't have a fixed location or speed, at least not until we measure them. Before that, they exist in a state called superposition, whether not in one place or another, but in all possible states at once. And here's the kicker. When we observe them, all these possibilities collapse into a single outcome. But you cannot predict what outcome you'll get. You can only predict the possibility of getting each one. In other words, the most fundamental building blocks of our universe behave randomly. And if we are made entirely out of these quantum particles, then that means we too are random at our core. So it's settled then. Randomness does exist in science. Nope. Well, it's not that simple. Because what came next is rarely talked about in these sort of videos. While physicists like Bohr and Heisenberg accepted this quantum randomness and even confirmed it through both theory and experiment, not everyone was convinced. Someone who I've already mentioned refused to accept it. And that someone was none other than Albert Einstein. But before that, if you are enjoying this breakdown, consider liking the video and subscribing. It generally motivates us to make more videos like this one. Oh my god, it's Albert Einstein! It's Albert Einstein! Now, the community was divided. Even after seemingly proving that randomness exists, one part of the group kept trying to include determinism in quantum physics. But what exactly is determinism? Imagine I give you every possible piece of information about an asteroid at a given moment. Its size, speed, mass, density, location, energies, everything. Then, I ask you to tell me what these values will be a few minutes later. Given that you know the classical laws of physics, you'll be able to determine them precisely that's determinism. More than a physical concept, it's a doctrine, a belief that all things are predetermined and destined to happen. And Einstein seemed to subscribe to this. Despite being one of the pioneers of quantum physics, Einstein never fully embraced what it revealed. It's not that he rejected quantum mechanics, he just believed it was incomplete. Einstein argued that quantum mechanics wasn't the full story. The idea that reality only becomes real when we observe it didn't make sense to him. Something deeper had to be going on. And he wasn't alone. Physicists like Schroeder Schrodinger, de Broglie and Lawrence agreed. They believed there were hidden variables that could explain everything. Schrodinger, despite contributing heavily to quantum theory, never stopped trolling it. His infamous cat experiment was meant to mock the absurdity of superposition. And this is where the deeper, more ideological implications begin. Einstein believed the universe had to be predestined. Anything else would be illogical. And it's poetic really because his philosophy shines even through his classical work. General and special relativity are not just brilliant theories. If you know anything about them, you know that they are monuments to determinism and symmetry. Einstein was a realist. He believed the universe had an objective existence, whether or not we were looking. Even in his later years, he kept searching for a unified field theory, one that would reconcile determinism with the apparent randomness of quantum mechanics. But in 1964, almost a decade after Einstein's death, a physicist named John Bell would go on to rule out his hidden variables theory. Through experiment, Bell showed that if Einstein was right, then quantum experiments should obey certain limits and they didn't. So finally, it became clear the deterministic ideology of Einstein was flawed and our question seemed to be answered. Despite predestination being supreme in the classical world, the quantum, more fundamental world was still random. But not quite. Even if the universe is random at its core, that doesn't automatically mean we have free will. Because some interpretations say it doesn't matter whether the universe is random or not, free will might still be in danger.
Throughout this video, only one answer shines. Yes, randomness does exist in this universe. But beneath everything, the core question is this. Do you really have free will? Many times, philosophers, theologians, and even physicists have tried to merge predestination and free will into one unified theory. But that never seemed to make sense. There was always the question of what it meant to be free. And something as practical and experimental as science could never truly answer that. Many interpretations like bohemian mechanics, superdeterminism, and fame men's path integral formulation have tried to reintroduce predestination into quantum mechanics but on a classical level whether deterministic or random free will seems to appear more and more unlikely because even if we presume that the universe is purely random at all levels wouldn't that mean that your choices are random too and that's completely opposite to the idea of free will just because something happens by chance doesn't mean it was chosen freely free will isn't about unpredictability it's about intentional control clearly the nature of reality whether random or not, has never been enough to settle the question of free will. And so trying to explain freedom through randomness leads us in circles. If the universe is entirely deterministic, then everything else is written. And if it's entirely random, then our choices are just the role of a cosmic dice. Neither path leads to freedom. So to sum it all up, our current understanding of physics suggests that at the most fundamental level, the universe is random. The discovery of quantum mechanics shattered the old belief in a fully deterministic reality. Einstein tried to reconcile this, but his hidden variables theory was eventually disproven. And we still haven't been able to unite the classical and quantum worlds. So until then, the trophy goes to randomness. But here's the troubling part. If a deterministic universe leaves no room for freedom and a random universe also lacks true agency, then what kind of universe would allow free will to exist and worse if predestination is not freedom and being at the mercy of randomness isn't either then what does free will actually mean these are questions science may never answer but thankfully i have just a video for that